Many black owned businesses were able to show off what they do during a pop up market in Gainesville. TV 20's Kayla Lewis shows us how some of these business owners found their passions. Staff at Anthropology hosted a community pop up market which showcases black history and local black owned businesses. I've always gravitated towards art as a kid. Um, I would color my coloring books and then steal my mom's college rule notebooks and draw the coloring book and color it again. So I've always been interested in art. Yvonne Ferguson paints portraits and says she learned how to paint when she attended Gainesville High School. I needed artwork for my apartment and I couldn't find any black art. And uh, my mom was like, just make it. And so I started making it. And then uh, my friends would hit me up and be like, I need artwork for my place too. And then it kind of turned into a business for me. She says it's important to have representation in artwork and she does what she can to make it accessible to everyone. Just working with kids for the past few years, I love kids. And so I wanted to write a story that I knew they would like and that they could um, relate to and inspire them. And that's Denisha Huntley, a children's book author who just published her first book, Lost Land. She hopes to make this book a series and tells me Lost Land is a magical place where toys go when they're missing. Sometimes there are limited resources for many black owned businesses. So to have a big corporation and a big business like Anthropology taking time out um, to allow us to come in here, in here, I mean, it's just amazing. Kina Woods owns Sugar Babies Cookies based out of Newberry, and she says she's been baking since she was little. And those were just three of the many local black owned businesses in the area who are grateful for events like this one. In Gainesville, Kayla Lewis TV, 29.